So here's a new unit. We're gonna get into uh, greasy tow trucker lifestyle. So I've wanted a tow truck for a long time. I've had, I actually had one years ago. But around here is a big hassle. There's all sorts of inspections and stuff like that. So I thought I would make my own and circumvent a bunch of bullshit, but still be 100% legitimate. So I had bought that one ton truck and I've been looking for, this is a small little wrecker. So this is a slide in wrecker meant for like a one ton, you know, bed truck, like a truck with an actual bed on it. And uh, so what this is, this is a Holmes 220 it's called. So everyone knows the Holmes 440. Uh, that's what I had on my old truck. And that's the heavy duty version of this. This is essentially a lot of the same stuff this one's been chopped up and modified and a few things over the years. I think they stopped making them in the 80s or something like that. Um, but it's basically the same setup, but it has an electric winch on it. So there's no need for a PTO or any of that big chain drive and stuff like that. So this can go in and out of different trucks. So it's meant for light duty. It doesn't have the same weight rating and, uh, and some more cars, very light trucks. You know, they use it on dealerships and all that sort of stuff. It wasn't a recovery unit, it wasn't for big stuff. This would be perfect for what I want to do. So I paid 400 bucks for this unit. 400 bucks, can you believe that's all I paid? Now, it's rough around the edges. It does have the, the worn 8274, I think that was the, the winch on it, which that was, even I know that's the, that's the number you want to have. Yeah, 8274, so that's, that's the unit. Um, I just ran it with a bar, it wasn't seized. It's been sitting outside. I don't have high hopes for the electrical on this uh, unit, but I know these winches are good and they're worth rebuilding. So worst case, we have to do that. But I kind of was looking on the internet. It seems like those winches running are 700 to a thousand bucks and parts ones are 200. So I figured, eh, I'm, I'm in the ballpark. I went screwing around with everything. Everything kind of moves. It's a bit of a different unit than I had. Mine had big chains down the side, which would la latch. This looks like there's been some customization done to it, but I think the, the bones are there and it should be good for what I want to do. It has the sling, but it's missing the little, I don't know, bottom kind of boom part, which I'll have to make. And that'll be custom anyways, because I don't think I want to run that bottom of the sling off the trailer hitch maybe, versus off the back bumper or something like that, which, which a real tow, tow truck would. Um, this thing, it weighs about 600 pounds. So the little bobcat will kind of lift it, but it's too long, so it's kind of tilty. But I'm thinking we'll figure some way out with pins and stuff like that to maybe, you know, get it slightly disassembled. We lift it into place and kind of go from there. So that's my plan. So the plan with this thing, like I said, they're 600 pounds. My truck weighs 62 or 300. And it's got a limit of 10,000. So even with this thing in the bed of that truck, it'll weigh, let's say, 7,000 pounds. And then the junk I tow, I mean... A fully dressed 55 Chevy or 50 whatever, Tri-5 Chevy or Nova and all that. They're about 3,500 pounds and you're only towing half of it. So you're not taking the whole weight. And let's be honest, most of the junk I tow home is no motor, no transmission, no floorboards, no rockers, missing half the stuff. So they don't weigh a whole lot. So I should be all legit uh, legal and all sorts of things. And really save myself a pile of time waiting on tow truck drivers and trailers and screwing around and borrowing stuff from buddies and all that. So I'm excited about this thing. I don't know, I think it'll be a bit of a build series. I don't, I don't need it tomorrow. I just saw it popped up and the end goal was for uh, to go in my truck. So we'll work on it kind of in bits and pieces. Step one, I mean, all these, well, they're, <laughs> it's seen better days. So get all the junk off of it. I mean, the metal, we can just kind of sand it all down, uh, make it look nice, repaint it, obviously recable it. That'll be the plan because that stuff's all gonna be old. And then we gotta see if we can get this winch working. And then otherwise, bolt it in and figure it all out. Um, that work truck out there, it was originally a, like a city truck. So it had a big space cap on the back. So it has wiring to the back and everything kind of ready to go. So it should be pretty neat. I'm excited to uh, tow my own junk around for, uh, for the first time in quite a while. I, I had that tow truck years ago and it was handy as all hell, but I just didn't use it enough to justify having a dedicated tow truck. This it's it's heavy and awkward the way it is but i'm thinking if we can have the boom be removal which it's actually on pins if that comes out it's quite a bit smaller of a unit if i could just uh forklift it in put the boom on you know maybe 
build some sort of bracket to the truck so it can kind of pin in like a fifth wheel. We could actually take it out if we wanted to, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to do a little screw around and I'll just kind of show you how everything kind of works and we'll see if the motor runs. And that's all we're going to do on it for right now. I have a feeling the motor's going to be, well, it's going to need some wiring. So uh, we might support a senior and uh, drop that off with Mer. So it's a quick breakdown of how this worked. Man, there's no internet videos on old tow truck junk, as far as I'm concerned, that I've, I've seen. So it's pretty simple. There's one cable right here. It runs to the back and that's what controls the height of the boom. So you can, uh, this one's got a bit of a goofy setup, but you can kind of raise or lower it any way you want there. Mine had, uh, they went down cables and went up with chains and there's different hooks and you can kind of raise and lower it depending on what you want to do. And I had this cable break once and it all comes down in a hurry. So replace it. This is like half inch braided cable. So that's good stuff. Then other than that, that sets your up and down angle. You have your, uh, your winch cable. Okay. This is all, I like guess this is some piece together <laughs> stuff, but uh, that'll hook onto your sling and you'll, you know, obviously J hooks and chains to the sling. Be able to lift it up. It runs all the way through. And this one is, uh, I've seen it done a few different ways. I think this is the factory way of doing it. And it has a pulley that runs down the winch being on the bottom. This winch looks like it's mounted upside down, but kind of irrelevant. I've also seen guys where they'll just put the winch right up top here and, uh, and let it rip. So we'll have to see what parts are for those things. Cause I can go down to uh, like Princess Auto or uh, Harbor Freight, I guess, for, for the Americans, and just buy a winch. Uh, I don't need anything too crazy. Like, that's an 8,000 pound winch. You could just bolt an 8,000 pound winch right to the top, straight back, down, recable the sides, and honestly, it'd be done, ready to go. So, I am going to look, see if winches are on sale, and then maybe I could flog this off to some weird Jeep guy because I feel like they're the ones that want to have this stuff. And uh, we'll go from there. But first, we'll we'll test it. We'll do a little screw around with it. But I mean, it's going to need recabled and all sorts of stuff. And I don't know. You want a little bit of safety on the old winch there so uh, that might take some time so maybe it's just a down the road item but uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty stoked on this uh, cobbled together pile of junk I mean worst case it's worth scrap value and the and the winch so I feel like I did all right well <laughs> we got a battery hooked up to this thing but uh, we got no jam now that being said all of these wires are bare which is not bueno now we'll just double check, get it ground. We have power there. We have power going to the controller there. And oh look, the wire's nicely broken. We have power going to the controller, but I don't believe there's any power coming back, which being left outside with that is probably not the best. Now we can probably try and jumper this thing or maybe we just try banging some solenoids around see if that does anything uh, i think okay that one works okay so they're all doing stuff well we'll see if we can jumper the winch maybe i don't know what's gonna be what here let's just start putting power to things Oh, that didn't do nothing. Well, the other thing, the uh, freewheel is completely seized. So I did a little bit of looking around. A new motor is 200 bucks. The freewheel is 100 bucks. Then we got to cable it. <laughs> so it rapidly becomes expensive actually to fix this thing. And Princess Auto has a sale on winches. So I think that might be the end of it. I'll screw around a little bit with the motor. But uh, it ain't going great, but it's not seized. So it does move and the lock works. But uh, I don't know what screwing around I want to do because by the time you get a remote, rewire it, cable it, it needs a motor and the freewheel, we're talking a few bucks here. So I think we might just put her on pause for right now and I'll start trimming all the junk off this thing that I don't need, all these ugly light bars and whatnot, and uh, get kind of sound down ready for paint.
All right, well, we got this thing uh, down to fighting weight. So I got just all the, the lights. It had old school roundy round, like uh, bubble tops or whatever. So we'll put LED stuff on if we even need to put lights on. I guess I'll have to double check that. I wanted to take these back lights off, but the guy welded them front and back. So <laughs> that'll be a lot of grinding. We'll see if I leave those on there. I mean, again, we're going to be running it in a, in a truck. We'll have tail lights, and then I wanted to get wireless uh like a light bar or something like that to put on whatever pile of junk i'm towing we got the winch out um uh, we'll work on it on the bench for sure it, it's i tried testing i tried screwing around with it i didn't do a whole lot of filming because it just wasn't going my way so we'll see it's been sitting outside forever i got to do a little pricing and stuff like i said there's a ten thousand pound uh winch with wireless control on sale right now uh like 250 or 300 dollars off so we might go look at that and it might just be the way to go and then literally plunk it on top get rid of all this bottom junk and then this thing will be like ready to go with a paint job and a uh, new set of cables so that'll save us a bunch of time you know who i really need in this and if you guys know him jonathan w help man he's the like the king of old wreckers and putting them back together and knows everything so need to like send him some smoke signals or something like that anyway so that's where we're leaving this i am extremely happy with my purchase isn't it funny how like four hundred dollars of absolute scrap steel can just make you so happy but uh i gotta push it back in the garage because i don't feel as though the neighbors are as impressed with a bunch of dead cars and now we have a tow truck wrecker it's like they see what's coming thanks for watching see you in the next video